three decades. As one of D.C.'s most powerful lobbying firms, the Podesta Group may be on the verge of shutting its doors after being swept up in the Russia collusion investigation. So what exactly is going on behind closed doors? Here to weigh in is Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton, who always knows what's really going on. Thank you for joining us this morning. Hi, Heather. How are you? Thanks for having me. Well, as we uh, begin with you, let's take a look at some Podesta Group fast facts for people. They were founded by the brothers John and Tony Podesta way back in 1988. Uh, Tony Podesta worked as a Democratic lobbyist and a fundraiser. John Podesta, of course, worked for the Obama and Clinton administrations. So why does it seem that any ties with Democrats are kind of looked past in terms of the mainstream media? But if you're tied to Republicans, then you've got some big problems. Well, it's remarkable because Paul Manafort was in partnership with the Podesta group. Uh, on the very issue for which he's being charged by uh, it, by the Mueller people. So Mueller is prosecuting Manafort for improperly lobbying or improperly disclosing lobbying, mm -hmm. but the Podesta group isn't being charged when you can make the same argument. Now, Tony Podesta, who's still running the group, or was, says he's innocent. They were, you know, he filed all the forms properly and there's nothing to yell at him about. Well, so does Paul Manafort. But the difference is that Mueller is, is focusing on Paul Manafort, who happens to be uh, the former campaign chair for Donald Trump. Uh, but Tony Podesta, whose brother John, by the way, uh, was Hillary Clinton's uh, one of her top campaign officials, mm -hmm. who, as a campaign official, presumably would have had some knowledge about the dossier. We know he met, according to one report, with the author of the dossier after it was published. So, of course, Mueller isn't going to go after John Podesta because John Podesta and the Clinton campaign were working hand in glove, it looks like, through this dossier with the FBI to target Team Trump. It just screams a disparate impact or disparate treatment between Mueller, and, uh, between Manafort and Podesta, mm -hmm. or basically Trump, the Trump, ga the, the, the Trump team and the Clinton team. Yeah, I was looking back some back through some of my old notes over the years, specifically with you, and we had talked about, I was looking at what is the, the bank or the Kremlin Finance Company, the 75,000 shares of stock involving John Podesta, and then you had Tony Podesta, and, and I read here that it was his firm received the Podesta Group more than $24 million in fees in 2016, much of it coming from foreign governments, um, according to some reports that were out there. So this has been going on for a while, and people for a while have been looking past it. Well, uh, uh, John Podesta was a business partner with Russians. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of money, as you point out. Uh, some questions about whether he uh, properly uh, uh, disclosed those uh, monies or whether he divested himself appropriately when he went into government during the Obama administration. But either way, the standard for Mueller seems to be if you did business with the Russians and you're a Republican, you're going to be in our sights. But someone like John Podesta, there's no evidence uh, that similar uh, issues with uh, Democrats are uh, subject of investigation. And, of course, Hillary Clinton herself, through her husband, received a half a million dollars from one of the uh, major Russian concerns involved with Uranium One. Uh -huh. you, you can bet you Mueller's going to go nowhere near that. And remember the, the WikiLeaks email with John Podesta, I think it was, that talked about the Bloomberg story that they had pulled that had the $500,000 in the speech with uh, um, former President Clinton and all of that. So, so there has been some evidence there for a while, but Mueller apparently not looking at it. Uh, Tom, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it this morning. You're welcome, Heather. Thanks for having Have me. Have a great day.